Hey, what's going on guys? It's Austin here, back with another YouTube video, and today we are going to be doing a story time type of video. I got this inspiration from another YouTuber named Luna, so if you haven't seen his videos, go ahead and check them out. They're really entertaining, and I thought I'd give it a try. So, the first story I'm going to bring up is a story about my crazy ex-girlfriend. So, to start this story off... I had this girlfriend for my sophomore to junior year of high school, I believe. So, we dated for quite a while, about a year or so, and her family was a bit odd at times, but it was, I had no complaints. It was a fine relationship. I don't despise her or anything like that, but there were just things that didn't work out. So, but anyway... We dated for about a year, and then we broke up. So then, after we broke up, obviously, like, she tried to get back together with me and all this other stuff, and I was like, no, I think we just should move on and go our separate ways. So, then, after this has gone on for about a month, I guess she didn't tell her family, and somehow it was my fault, and somehow it was my problem. But anyway, she told her mom about it and everything about it, all the details, obviously, because every girl tells her mom every single detail about anything. So she knew all the dirty laundry, everything that had to do with our relationship. So then one day after school, I saw her mom picking her up and I said hi, just trying to be nice and kind of blow things over and not really dwell on them just kind of hey how are you good okay move on so after that she just kind of was nice back just kind of said hey how are you doing blah 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 and then after a few weeks a few weeks go by I don't really think anything of it and let's call my ex Sarah so Sarah's mom was outside picking Sarah up. So then after a little while, it continuously happened. She would only usually pick Sarah up like once or twice a week, but it ended up being five times a week. And I usually walked home from school. So I walked about a mile and a half, two miles home. So it wasn't anything too difficult. Like it was fine. She offered me a ride a few times. I was like, no, it's okay. And then once it started getting more and more times, like I just saw her, I'd never said hi or anything. I just kind of walked by, but I would see her on my way back to my house. Obviously they knew where I lived, but every intersection I'd see her or she'd be outside at the parking lot or something like that. Cause sometimes I'd have to walk through fast food parking lots and stuff and she would be sitting there. And she was kind of stalking me. So one time, I remember she picked Sarah up. And when I was walking back, I saw her at the light. And I didn't think anything of it. I was like, well, whatever. Like, she's going home. Whatever. And then I saw her at the fast food restaurant. And I was like, oh, okay, that's a little odd. But they could just be getting food, whatever. They might just want something quick for the family. I don't know. So then I just kept walking. And then I saw them on my street. And I was like, what am I going to do? Like, I have to go home. Like, I don't want to walk around anymore. Like, I already walked a mile and a half. So after all this goes down... I'm just like, whatever. And she didn't come up to the house or anything. She just kind of left. And the next day at school, I was like, what's all that about, Sarah? Why did you do that? And why did you follow me home? And why did you get your mom involved in all this? And she's like, what are you talking about? I was like, come on, don't play dumb. I know you're at my house watching me walk home. You were pretty much there the entire time. And she's like, uh, I don't, I don't really know what you're talking about. 
And I was like, okay, whatever. Clearly, you're not going to tell me. So I just let it go. And a week goes by and she does the same thing. And I was like, you need to stop. Like, stop doing this or I'm going to call the cops. And she was like, no, 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 please don't call the cops. I just, I just miss you. And I was like, there's a lot of different ways to tell somebody that you miss them other than stalking them and pretty much being there 24 seven. Like, I don't get a break. I have to be with you at school and then you're going to follow me home. Like, I just don't get a break. She's like, well, I just wanted to make sure you weren't hanging out with any other girls. And I was like, that's the last thing that you need to be worrying about right now. Do you, are you listening to yourself? You sound crazy. And she's like, no, no, no. I'll tell my mom that we're not doing it anymore and we'll stop. And I was like, okay, sweet. And then on Thursday of that week, it happened again. And I'm like, no, I'm calling the cops. Like, we're getting this figured out. I'm going to file a restraining order against both of you because this is ridiculous. And I call the cops. The cop comes and he's like, what seems to be the issue? And I'm like, those two are following me continuously every week they follow me at least once or twice all the way back to my house and I live a mile and a half from school and they live on the other side of town and the cops kind of like okay well why are you doing this ma'am and she's like I don't really know what he's talking about I was like, no, she does. That's fucking bullshit. And she does know what she's talking about or what I'm talking about because she's doing it every single week. And then it got to a point where they were like, okay, well, we will file a restraining order if you need. But other than that, just stay away from each other as much as possible. And I was like, okay, that's not that hard for me. Tell that to her. But anyway... A couple of days go by and nothing really happened, but she had my passwords for a lot of my social medias and such. So she changed them all. And I was like, come on, you give me my stuff back. Like, I kind of need this. This is big and you can't just take that from me. And she was like, no, you wanted to call the cops. So now this is what you get. And I was like, no. You need to just leave me the fuck alone is what I need. And she wasn't dealing with it and she didn't want to hear it. And to get all my stuff back, I had to, I was like, how can I get my stuff back? She's like, well, at least give me another chance. And I was like, thinking to myself, there's no way after all this shit, there's no way I give her another chance. But anyway, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could talk about it. Like, I'm not against it at all. And she was like, really? And I was like, yeah, I I, I think we could kind of make things work. This makes a lot of sense. And after talking to her for a few hours, she was like, okay, well, I'll give you your passwords back. And I was like, okay, perfect. Just log them in and then we can talk tomorrow or something over the weekend because it was Friday at this point and she was like perfect and she gave me my social medias back and I was like all right have a good day and immediately I pulled my phone out reset all my passwords and I didn't talk to her again she tried talking to me she texted me multiple times and I was like I texted her and I said Please don't ever talk to me again. You stole all my passwords. You made my life a living hell for the last month. Don't talk to me ever again. And she was like, but you said we could. And I said, yeah, I wanted my passwords back because they were mine. And you had no reason to take them. But the fact that you were being jealous and the fact that you wanted control over me and my life. So no, this will never work. Don't ask me again. And so, honestly, I don't know why, but I think she got scared because I called the cops 
and the fact that I told her that I never wanted to see her again, that she just stopped talking to me. They never followed me back home, never did anything like that. So I didn't really have to file a restraining order, which was nice, but definitely annoying and definitely crazy. So if there's a moral to the story here, it is to not date a crazy girl and don't let them be so involved in your life that they know every direction that you go. So, yeah, it was a crazy story, but let me know how you guys like these videos and we will see if I continue them. Thank you so much for your support. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.